Hey, this is Aaron with Lawrence. I'm just gonna give you a little overview of our all new free steer joystick remote. So on the remote right here, we've got our autopilot key. We've got a menu key, which also serves as the power key. You've got your prop on off over here. A short press will turn the prop on or off. A long press of this key will exit any mode you're in and turn the prop off and return you back to manual steering mode. Over here, you've got your anchor key plus or minus to control your speed. One of the cool things about the free steer remote is that we've added a joystick. The joystick is gonna steer the motor as well as navigate through the menus. So on the display, in the upper left-hand side, we've got our remote battery level. On the opposite side of that, we've got our trolling motor battery level. Down here, we've got our speed over ground. And over here, we've got our prop percent. In the center here, you can see we've got our directional indicator for lower unit position. And underneath that is the status of whatever mode we're in. Right now, we're in manual mode. You'll see an icon down here in the bottom center. When we're in manual mode, the soft key will lock the remote. On the back of the remote, we've got two programmable keys. These are both programmable to do short and long press for things such as controlling power poles, your active target, down or forward range, or marking a waypoint. One of the cool things about the joystick remote is it allows you to do a lot more with less key presses and less cognitive load. So if you want to steer like you're used to with the traditional keypad remote, Imagine going left and right on this x-axis. So you can tap it to make short movements, or you can press and hold, and the motor's gonna keep turning. We also have the ability to free steer. So if you press and hold in any direction, the motor's gonna correspond with your joystick position. And you can rotate this in 360 degrees. By holding straight down on the joystick, the motor's gonna come straight back. Regardless of the mode, anytime the prop is active, you will see blue lines on either side of the mode icon as well as the outer speed ring. So right now we're in anchor mode. One thing you'll notice, the icon at the bottom changed to a flag. If you hit your soft key, that's gonna mark a waypoint on this spot. One of the benefits of the joystick is we now have eight-way directional jogging, just like you're used to today. So one click of the joystick represents five feet in any of the eight directions. Another cool feature of the free steer remote is what we call free steer jog. So when we're in anchor mode right now, we can press and hold in any direction and the prop speed's gonna slowly ramp up. And if I slowly back off, you know, if I have a new anchor point here, I slowly back off on the joystick, it's gonna drop the speed. Whenever I return that joystick back to center, this is our new anchor spot. When we're free steer jogging, the distance from away from center represents prop thrust. So if I hold it all the way to the edge, and it's gonna slowly ramp up the prop. And then when I get close to a spot I, I know I wanna stop at, I just slowly feather back on the joystick, and when we come to the dead center again, that's our new anchor point. By default, the autopilot key is programmed to course lock. If you wanna change that, you can do that in your remote settings. Just go to menu, settings, trolling motor, autopilot, and you can select your default there. We also have a setting here called prop auto on, and you can select that. What that does is turn the prop on the minute you engage autopilot. So now we're gonna go through some of the trolling motor settings that you can access on the free steer remote. First off is boat scale. By default, your boat scale is set to zero. If you're out here anchoring and your boat's getting blown off the position or slow to react, you can bump that up. And what that does, it just provides a little bit more aggressiveness with the amount of thrust it provides. And this holds true in anchoring and in navigation modes as well. And on the end, other end of boat scale, if you get out and the bow of your boat when you're anchored is, is going left and right, and it's just providing a little bit too much thrust, you can bump that down to negative one or negative two, whatever you need according to the size of your boat. We've also got a setting to change your navigation arrival modes. We've got standby, anchor, course lock or heading lock. We've also got trolling motor LED settings in here where you can control the brightness of the mount LEDs as well as the LED on the head. You can also change the direction LED to be on when the prop's on, that's by default. You can turn it off or you can keep it on at all times. You can also select your stow direction from the menu, prop in or prop out or off. You can select your voltage, 24, 36 volts. You can also control the audible tones the trolling motor emits. You can make them louder, more frequent with whatever you're doing, or you can turn them off altogether. Another cool feature of the free steer remote is we have the ability to turn on these backlit keys. And to do that, you hit your menu key, you go to settings, remote, buttons, and you'll see options here to turn the backlight on or off, as well as select a timeout for that. You'll see you've got options for trigger one and trigger two, and those represent your configurable options 
with a short press and a long press. These configurable key options are also accessible with the app. 